I love this shirt. It was so cute. What are my kids doing all day? Gross. Welcome to my closet. What's up fam? If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a subscriber, welcome back. My name is Marissa and I am a minimalist mom. Here at my channel, I share practical minimalism tips for families. And today we are going to be tackling decluttering kids clothing. That's why I'm in my closet. <laughs> If you're interested in minimalism, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Just go down and hit the red subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell so that you get a notification when I share a new video or go live. You can see it right away. My kids are very, very, very tough on their clothing. So we're gonna talk about what to do with clothes that are not donatable at the end. So make sure that you stick around for the whole video to find out what to do with all these clothes. And I'm gonna try to make it as painless as possible. I find it very emotionally hard sometimes. I'd love to ask you, do you cry when you declutter kids' clothing? Uh, go down and leave me a comment and tell me if you cry or if you don't really care. I get so emotional, baby. Every time I look at you. Whoa. No, 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 no. I actually did laundry so I could make sure that I have as many of our clothes as humanly possible so that I can sort through everything all at once and I don't have to go back through the dirty clothes. So these are freshly washed clothes. I'm gonna separate the oldest and the youngest sons so that I only have the youngest sons in here. So let's do that. If you have multiple kids, start with the youngest child's clothing first. And the reason that you start with the youngest child's clothing first, if they're the youngest and you sort through their clothes and you have things that you don't want anymore, unless you're planning to have more children, then those are clothes that you can move out of the house. So first things first, we're gonna start with pulling out all the clothes from my youngest son. We did go through an extreme decluttering. We actually decluttered our entire home down to only eight suitcases so that we can move overseas to Europe where we are now and we just bought a home. So if you want to check out those two videos, I'm gonna link them down in the description below. Okay, I just got out all of my youngest son's clothing and I have to say I'm honestly shook by how much clothing he has. I can't believe it. Now let's get started with decluttering the youngest child's clothing. So we're gonna go through that right now. See that? All of our pants get this. Like this video if you're a mom who has kids that put holes in their pants like crazy. As far as deciding what to keep versus what not to keep, I don't have a certain set of rules. I just look for if there's excessive wear, if it's something that my kids don't like wearing, or if it's just simply been outgrown. So I thought it might be fun to just count and see how much stuff we have left after decluttering. I am not counting because I am advocating for you to only own a certain amount of items. I just thought that we would explore together how much I've gotten rid of versus how much I kept. So here is the get rid of pile. Let's come back to that later. Underwear, we kept a lot of underwear. Socks, honestly, we need more socks because half of these probably don't have matches because the other one got holes in them. Only two pairs of pants survived the winter. Two! What are my kids doing all day? So right now I only have six pairs of shorts. One swimsuit and then for t-shirts, So it seems like that the most I have is 10 in one category, 
but I'm probably gonna have more shorts once I use a little trick on some of these holy pants. Now I've got the pile of clothing for my oldest son and I'm going to declutter this clothing and then whatever I think is too small but still in good condition, I'm gonna pass it down to the younger son. Look at the condition of these pants. So that went really fast and I've got the pile of mixed clothes that I'm going to be getting rid of. And then this is the keep pile. And now what's happened is little brother has now gotten a bunch of clothes that he can use for winter this coming year. So I have passed on the sizes. And I thought of something that I didn't mention. So you can see I finished recording and I'm in my, what I like to call my sweaty dress for when I'm like trying not to be sweating. Because we live in Germany, no air conditioning here. There's not air conditioning in the schools. There's not really air conditioning in the homes. And we are sweaty pigs in the summer. And my kids sweat through their clothes. Then we go to the park and the parks are completely sand. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of our children's clothes, now step four is going to be going through those clothes and deciding what to do with the discard pile. Now, you basically have three options. If you have items that are in really good condition and they might be desirable items, you can sell them. If it's not necessarily the best like high-end brand clothing, but it's in really good condition, what you can do is pile them all together. You can sell them in a lot as a bulk lot on Facebook Marketplace. So put all of your 5T clothing together in a bag. Say, winter 5T clothing lot for boys and sell it all at once. If your clothing is in good condition but you don't wanna mess with selling, you can always donate it like Goodwill, the Salvation Army, children's or women's centers in your local area. There's lots of places you can donate to. Now, what do you do if your clothing is not in good enough condition to sell or donate? Take, for example, this shirt that is very nice looking but unfortunately has holes in it around the collar area. I would not donate this to somebody, nor would I sell it. I'm going to put it in a bag and I'm going to take it to H&M and they're gonna do something that's called textile recycling. And for every bag that you bring in, they will give you a 15% off coupon. Don't use and abuse it. You don't wanna shop and replace the stuff that you just decluttered. They're gonna take that bag and they're going to send it to be recycled into other items. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna separate the clothes that I want to donate the clothes that I want to recycle, and the clothes that I want to sell. Actually, there's one more option. If you have pants and it's got holes in the knees, like my, pant, my kids' pants tend to do a lot, you can cut them off to make shorts. That's one of my favorite ways, without having to go shopping, that I can frugally give my children more clothes for the summer. Cut off the legs to make shorts. I 
love this shirt. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. See, this is like the, one of the things that I get emotional about. If you ever feel like you're getting overly emotional, you can just take a second to say goodbye and thank you to that little item. It really does help a lot when you're a very sentimental person. Sometimes I just need to wish my children's clothes goodbye and thanks for all the hard work. So now what I've got is I've got a big pile for donating. I'm gonna put that there. I've got a small pile that I'm going to give to H&M for textile recycling. And I've got a lot of pants that I'm going to cut into shorts. Feel pretty good, huh? Yeah. You like your new pants? Now that we've gone through everything, it's time to fold it all up and put it back. So if you need help with folding, I've got a great KonMari folding video. I will link it in the description below as well. And I'm gonna get to folding these items and put it back. Thank you so much for joining me today as we declutter our kids' clothing together. I hope this was helpful for you. If this video was helpful in any way, please Give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. We would love to have you as part of our family.